the um, Auburn contingent. And they got, a bit. they got beef, man. A, a large part of the Auburn contingent that does not include Charles Barkley, that does not include Charles, who, despite the obvious pain of watching the way that that game finished up, went on the air and said the play in question, the foul uh, of Kyle Guy by Samir Doughty, was in fact a foul in the act of shooting a three-point shot in the act of shooting with 1.5 seconds remaining. Taking that shot, ball goes off the iron. There's videos all over the place on social media from Auburn where fans are running into the streets going crazy thinking that they had just won the game. (laughs) Except for the fact because there's a whistle that's blown and you thought that whistle might have been because the buzzer sounds game over. No, the whistle is... A three-shot foul. A three-shot foul. And you look at the play. You've, I've looked at the play a million times over. And if the foul that was called on Carson Williams on Purdue, interestingly enough, against Tennessee, and Williams had three to win, he took, made two to tie, and Purdue won the game in overtime, as both Tennessee and Auburn, two SEC hopefuls, get in the gate due to a foul call that happened at the end that had the whole country talking about it. The contact was created by Doughty. Was created by him. He jumped into Guy. He jumped into the area. Guy could not land where he was shooting it from because he got bumped. He did get bumped after the ball was gone. So you could say that. Was he fouled in the act of shooting? He's shooting. He's shooting balls out. Then contact hits in the hip. But the ref made the call. You can make a case that it was a foul. My only issue with this is not that it happens at the end of a game. You've got to call a foul with one second left. If it's a foul with one second in, it's a foul with one second left. I'm, that, that's just the way... I view things. The NFL views it the same way, by the way. My issue was is they were letting so much go. Yeah. The fact that Guy took this shot with a a second and a half left is because Auburn didn't have enough team fouls for – I mean, Virginia didn't have enough team fouls to send Auburn to the line. And then Auburn didn't have enough team fouls to send Virginia to the line, so they were hacking Virginia like crazy to take time off the clock. And the thing that's kind of nuts is they didn't foul Guy soon enough. He got the ball and released it, but that's neither here nor there. So there were so few fouls called in the game that Virginia needed to send Auburn to the line, couldn't do it fast enough for them, took time off the clock, and then Auburn took more time off the clock because they didn't have enough fouls to send Virginia to the line, which was to their benefit. So the entire second half is played with letting them go, let it go, let them roll. And then we get a foul towards the end there, not to mention the fact that there was a double dribble that was missed. Jerome bringing the ball up, thinking, I guess he he was going to get fouled. I don't know, but he goes behind the back, hits it, hit the ball, hits him in the leg. And then he picks it up and dribbles it. Yeah, he dribbled off his own so foot. Was, so I don't know, did the refs think that it's possible that the Auburn defender knocked it loose and that's why they didn't call it? Because it's clear that it's off his leg. And the minute he picks the ball up, he's not allowed to move. You right. certainly can't put the ball down and dribble. So then instead of Dowdy sitting here wondering if he did something wrong and he was the reason why Auburn lost a game in which, by the way, They were down 10 with five minutes to go, and it looked like that thing was over. And Auburn winds up taking the lead. Virginia looked dead in the water towards the end, and then the last few seconds went their way with that three-point shot. And so we're left, I don't know if it's, it's, it's not as glaring, because I'll be honest, I didn't jump up and scream at the time. That's a double dribble. They missed it. I didn't think... I. Nance didn't call it. Raftery didn't call it. 
he did Grant it so, Hill didn't see so it. smoothly like I meant he meant to do that. They, CBS's cameras didn't zoom in on Bruce Pearl going nuts. Right. Nobody really picked up on it till after the game. Right. But I don't know if this is as glaring that or the foul call, but we do have for the second time in three months, I guess, or a 12-week span, a national championship or a championship game where one team feels it got cost a chance to play for it all because of a referee's call. Or in the case of the Saints, a non-call. Did we do we have the right matchup tonight? For more of the Rich Eisen show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Direct TV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.